Okay, so we're now at the part where we're getting down to the baselines for our dubstep track. And this is something that is uh, very important to dubstep and it's what makes it kind of unique is the, the way the baseline um, sort of uh, changes over time or uh, uses, it basically uses an LFO to a sort of uh, shuffled rhythm and opens and closes the filter according to that rhythm. So I'm just going to get rid of what we've got here. So I'm going to move the VST instruments down. We've got our drums at the top on our FX channel. So I'm going to right click and create an instrument track and we're going to use the silent for this. And I'll just name this distorted bass. And I'm going to bring the volume of it back. And if we hit Apple and K on our keyboard, we can hear that. So I'm just going to just open it up and I'm going to go to the menu and initialize. Okay, so for part A, I'm just going to choose a tri saw. It's got a nice thick bottom end to it. I'm going to push seven voices at it. I'm going to bring it down an octave. And then we'll add some. Um, we'll go to part B and we'll add a sine wave. We'll just bring the octave up a bit. And then we'll add another voice over here. This time we'll use uh, one of the pulse waves. We'll bring the octave down. So you can hear there it's already pretty distorted. We're just going to add B and A to the filter on a low pass. And we'll bring the cutoff down. Add a touch of resonance and push the drive right up full. For part A. We'll do the same, we'll mix the other filter in, so we'll mix A and B, low pass, add a touch of drive, let's open the filter slightly, add some warm distortion, and then we're going to go down to the bottom here, and this is where the, the magic happens with the LFO, so we go down and select cut off AB, push it up full, push it again up full, and we can play around with our rates here. So I'm just going to push that just out of the way for now. I'm just going to play around with the pitch over here. So I'm going to add a pitch AB, and we're going to push it slightly, just so we get a, a quick bend on the note. So that's the sound we're looking for there. We'll get a quick bend at the very top. And we've got our LFO here, which is a variable, which we'll be able to change throughout. So I'm just going to add a bit of distortion now. So if we just click the distort, and we'll try add some full back distortion, and we'll just push a compressor on there as well. You can add a compressor outside this if you want. Um, I'll just take that one for convenience. And then we'll come out of here and we'll add a bit of EQ. So we'll just make it a wee bit brighter. The top end here. And then I'm going to really distort this by using some inserts. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to our got our distortion settings. I'm going to cl click on the amp simulator. Let's bring this over. We're going to turn the cabinet off. So we'll go to no speaker for the cabinet. And you can, down, you can go down these and sort of pick one that you like the sound of. I particularly like the, the three tubes one. And we'll just bring the distortion back a wee bit. Push the mids up. The treble up. And that sort of high end as well. And then we'll add a bit crush.
Bitcrusher as well. So if we go to our other and Bitcrusher. <laughs> So you can get some real grungy sounds out of it now. And then one other tool we've got here, which I downloaded, you can get it for free on the internet. It's called Camel Crusher. It's from Camel Audio. I'll put a link to this on the, the website, obviously. So I'm just going to load it up. And it plays a wee bit funny with my uh, monitor here, but you can see what the settings are. So... <laughs> Keep that on the Annihilate preset. Sounds good as it is, and we'll just bring the volume back a wee bit. You can see there it starts to flicker. That's grand there. So that is... That's the basis of our uh, uh, Womp bass, or our distorted uh, bass line for our dubstep track. In the next tutorial, what we'll do is we'll actually program in a quick pattern, and we'll show you how to... Um, make the, uh, the LFO uh, change throughout the rhythm.